As players move up levels more and more, a ball hit in the air needs to be an out. If it's not over the fence, pitcher gets a pop-up or a fly ball, we need our defenders to catch it. One of the toughest plays to make is a ball that's hit behind you, over one of your shoulders, for either an infielder or an outfielder going back on it. What we like to see our players do is they go from their ready position, they read the ball over their shoulder, they drop back at about a 45 degree angle as they push with this foot to gain ground, and then they make a crossover and immediately are in stride going back to make a catch. We're going to have Chris use the shock wave here and demonstrate it. This is a drill we like to use with our players where they can just throw it themselves, read it off the net, and then track the ball down. Go ahead, Chris. Nice job. Chris's first reaction is a move back with his right foot at about a 45 degree angle as he pushes with the left to gain ground, crosses over, tracks it down, and watches it all the way into the glove. Having players at all your positions be able to track balls down over the shoulder will go a long way towards limiting at-bats for the other team by getting outs anytime a ball is hit in the air.